In this week's video, we're talking about making videos. Specifically, we're going to talk about my iPhone challenge, which is my attempt to make one movie per week completely in my iPhone. So that means filmed and edited and uploaded all from that. Making videos with your smartphone is really easy and super convenient. You've always got it with you, everybody knows how to turn it on, open up the app and start taking a video. But there's a couple of really big limitations with just using a smartphone without any accessories and without the right apps. One of the most important pieces of equipment if you're going to start making videos for the internet is to have a good quality external microphone. I use a lapel microphone which can just clip there or an external shotgun microphone which is what I'm using right now and that's the Rode VideoMic Me. It's about $100 and it's definitely worth it because with the windshield cover over the top of the microphone you can shoot outside even on a windy day and you're not going to get the wind noise and you'll get really good quality sound that's only coming directly down the barrel of the microphone which is why it's called a shotgun mic. Another really important piece of equipment if you are going to make videos for the internet is to get a good quality gimbal that can stabilize your smartphone. I use the Zhiyun Smooth 4, which I found to be excellent at really smoothing out those shots, giving you a nice buttery smooth pan, and also helps you with really good effects like pan time lapse. You can pick them up for about $150, and there's a range of them available in the market. So there's two really important apps that I'm using. One is Filmic Pro, which gives me full control of my smartphone's camera. It allows me to control it as if it was a proper DSLR camera, but I don't have all the downsides of having a bulky, expensive camera to carry around with me. I can just use my smartphone everywhere I go. The other app that I've found really useful is Kinemaster. It's an editing suite and there are a range of them on the market, but I found Kinemaster to be great for two reasons. Firstly, because it's free, all you've got to put up with is the watermark up there. And secondly, because it's very similar to Final Cut Pro. I do use Final Cut Pro in my MacBook, but for this particular iPhone challenge, I'm using Kinemaster for about 95% of the edits that I put up on my YouTube channel. So there you have it. That's all you really need. Four things. You just need an external mic, a gimbal, good quality video software, and also an editing suite that's inside your phone. And you can upload your videos to YouTube just like I am. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. And as always, hitting subscribe will help you find future videos that I post, and it'll help me out too. See you next time.